Esther Kochka from the Esther and Kennedy Microwave Cooking Show. I am one of the current university fellows for the Office of Student Engagement and Orientation, and I actually just graduated in May with my degree in sociology. A little bit of a fun fact about me is that I'm interested in counseling and possibly nonprofit administration, kind of the career path that I'm looking at at this point. So that's kind of explains why I'm interested in Stress Less Week. I think this is an awesome initiative that we do at CNU um, with CAS, really thinking about how to breathe during finals week. I know that this has been a tough year um, for many of us, and that finals week is gonna be strange being online and being all across the country and everything as well. So it's a little bit different, and I think it's still important for us to remember that you can't be studying 100% of the time. You also have to remember to breathe, um, to take some breaks, to do some things to take care of you as well. So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make microwave mac and cheese from Kraft. So get ready for step one. All right, so I just removed the lid, and so for step one, we're gonna take out this little pack of cheese, and we're gonna fill this up with water it says fill to here so there's a line inside if you can see that oh gosh i feel like i'm trying to juggle a lot right now with this one. okay filling it up to the line perfect step one complete all right so step two is to stir it all right step three i'm going to put it in the microwave for three and a half minutes Now it's in the microwave for three and a half minutes and while it is cooking I can think about how I'm going to create a study space for my, myself at home. Um, so something to keep in mind in, with this is that it should be a space that's different from the spaces that you're watching Netflix or hanging out with friends, um, talking on the phone, stuff like that. Um, you should find a space that's separate, something that you can sit, like maybe a desk, um, comfortable, supportive, but not like a couch, okay? So something that you can do to create more of a study space where you can come separate from everything else, okay? So that's the first thing, separate space. Make it comfortable um, and bring in some things that remind you or maybe inspire you of your purpose and your mission and your goals, stuff like that. So maybe a picture of you with your best friend or maybe an inspirational quote or something like that. Nothing crazy, but keep a little bit of personality in the space as well. Um, and then I think the third thing in, in terms of a study space is keep away other distractions. So nothing excessive on the walls or on your desk with you. Um, keep your phone turned off and away as long as you possibly can. Maybe set some timers for that for while you study. Um, only use your computer if you need it. Things like that. Keep other distractions away so that you can actually use this time to really focus and study. So those are some of my tips for creating a study space. All right, so step three was to cook it. So it looks like should be done, so let's check it out. Taking it out of the microwave carefully. Sometimes it's a little bit hot. I mean, it should be always hot, but I feel like it just zoomed in a lot. All right, and then we're gonna get ready for the next step, which is to take the cheese packet and empty it into... All right, folks, we've made it to the fourth and final step. We're gonna dump in the cheese packet here. There's supposed to be a little bit of water, but nothing crazy, but you're not supposed to dump out the water either. Oh gosh, I don't know that I can stir this with one hand, so... You gotta stir it around. Um, I'm gonna stop the video and we'll start back up when it looks a little bit better. All right, there it is. All stirred up. As a reminder, make sure that you don't put it in the microwave without any water because that definitely could start a fire. Um, so be conscious of your microwave rules when you're using this. Um, but yeah, we, we took what, four or five easy steps and then there you go, mac and cheese. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Kennedy and Esther Microwave Cooking Show. My name is Kennedy Strzok, one of the current university fellows for the Office of Orientation and Student Engagement. And a little bit about myself, I just graduated in May with a degree in psychology and a degree in sociology. And a fun fact, I'd have to say that I've played trumpet since the fifth grade. And welcome to Stress Less Week. I care about Stress Less Week because it provides students with the opportunity to get away from finals and to get away from the stressors of the semester and be able to just have some fun. And while that looks different this year with it being virtual, still being able to provide some of those opportunities to you is fantastic. So today I will be providing you a step-by-step -step play on how to make a cup of noodles or ramen. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your cup. I use ramen cups because they're easier, but some of them come in packets where you need a bowl on your own and that's fine too. 
So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your package to, you know, right about where that dotted line is right there. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it to your own sink. And then you're going to want to fill it up so that the water gets to right about where that line is right in there. And it's okay if the water is not too hot because you're gonna microwave the cup and then the water's gonna get hot all on its own. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take it over to your microwave and open that up right there. And you're gonna wanna put it in the microwave, make sure that the like, stays mostly closed. And then follow the instructions on there. Uh, this one says about three minutes, so we're gonna put three minutes. Make sure you have water in there because if it doesn't, it will explode and it will cause a fire alarm. So now that it's done, we're gonna take it out. And there we go. Shut that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up a little bit more. Don't take the lid off all the way. And we're gonna get a spoon or a fork, either one. And we're just gonna kind of like work through the noodles in here just to make sure that the hot water gets over all the noodles because some of the ones at the top, they get a little hard. And you don't want hard noodles, that's very bad. And there we go. Now we're gonna let it rest for a little bit so that it cooks some more. So while we're waiting for the noodles to cook all the way through and to let it uh, not be so hot so you don't burn your tongue, um, I wanna talk to you a little bit about time management and preparing for finals. Time management is very crucial in all aspects of your life, as you probably know. Um, but for finals, it's especially important because this is the end of the semester and you want to finish strong and you don't want to throw away all the hard work you've done. So some tips that I suggest are a couple weeks, probably two weeks before finals start, sit down and write down everything that you have to do, whether it be to write an essay or you have to study for short answer, multiple choice, whatever it is, write down what format of each test there are and anything you have to do for that. That's step one. Step two would be to kind of plan out your week for finals and the week before. When are your tests? When are your essays due? When are all your deadlines for everything? So that you have that all written out and it's ready for you to just do. So that way you don't have to worry about it and you know panic in the moment and figure that all out. The noodles are still kind of hot, so I'm gonna give you one last tip. It kind of burnt my tongue a little bit. But remember to also schedule time to relax and to take a breather. We've asked a lot of you this semester, going to school during a pandemic, during an election cycle, all this stuff. It's okay to take a breather and not have to jump right into the next thing automatically. Schedule some of that time where you're not worrying about studying, even if it's just for an hour where you take a nap or you watch something on Netflix. It's equally as important to plan out your time for things when you're doing them, but also when you're not doing them too. Let's see how our noodles are done. They look pretty good to me. Okay. All right, so they look pretty good. They're cooked all the way through, which is awesome. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also put in some hot sauce in here as well to kind of spice things up a little bit. But you can also put, um, if you get a scoop or two of peanut butter and actually dip it in and work it in through here, you can also make some really good uh, college edition peanut noodles as well. Um, you can dump out the water or not, depending on whether you like it or if you want some soup or if you just wanted the noodles, so. Uh, there you go. There is ramen in the microwave. Remember, put the water in or else there'll be a fire drill. All of the people who live in your dorm building will not be very happy with you. So enjoy. All right, this is Esther again, and I'm going to make a cake and a mug. It's pretty simple, actually, and it's cool because you can choose whatever type of cake that you're interested in. So I'm going to make a chocolate cake, but you can pick whatever kind. Um, all you need is a mug and then some sort of packet, so from like putting cracker cake in a cup or something like that to get you started. So, get ready for step one. I actually didn't have a packet on hand, so I just put the dry ingredients in here already, but typically you'd open up the packet, step one would be put, putting those in here, and then there's going to be some sort of liquid that you're adding, so probably it's going to be a tablespoon or two of water or milk. Alright, so for step three, we're just going to stir this around a little bit. I've just added the milk and into all of the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna stir it until it is all done. Again, with the stirring, it just doesn't work one-handed. All right, so the next step after you've stirred it all up, it should be a little bit liquidy. Next, we're just gonna put it in the microwave. Um, my recipe said one minute and 45 seconds, but make sure that you're paying attention to yours. There we go. 
So while our cake is cooking, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how important it is to ask for help. Whether that means asking a professor for some tips or studying with some classmates, even virtually, or just having a late night phone call with your best friend, it's really important. It's okay to recognize that you need help. Looks like our cake is done. Let's check it out. All right. I don't know. I think it could use maybe another 10 seconds. There she is. Looks pretty good to me. So you also can add a topping. If you have a little packet, you can add the topping on top. Obviously that's what the topping is for. And then that's it. Congratulations. You just made a cake and a mug. Hi everyone, Kennedy here again. The next thing that we're gonna be making together is Oatmeal! I love oatmeal. Oatmeal is one of my favorite breakfast foods to eat and you can take it anywhere with you or you can sit down and eat it as well and it's very filling and it's awesome. I have the brown, the brown sugar and maple oatmeal. That's my favorite but you can use any kind. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tear it here. See here, yeah it says tear here. You're going to tear right there and just rip off the entire top. And there you go. So then the next thing is, you're just gonna take it, you're gonna take your bowl, and you're just gonna pour all of the oatmeal in there so that it gets in the bowl. And then you're gonna wanna read the package on either the box that you have or the actual packet itself. So this one says to pour cold water or milk into the top of this package. You typically would wanna use milk. Um, you can use any kind of milk. If you want lactose free, you want almond milk, whatever. Um, I don't have any milk right now, actually, unfortunately, so I'm gonna put water in this. And you're gonna wanna fill it up to the two-thirds line right there. There we go. And then, you it doesn't have to be hot water. Actually, it prefers that you don't because that'll burn the package and it'll burn your hand. So then you're just gonna wanna take that, pour it in, toss the packet aside for a second and get a spoon. And then you're just gonna want, or I guess I have a fork, and you're gonna want to mix that around uh, so it covers all like the little oatmeal packets or the little oatmeal pieces. First thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put your oatmeal into the microwave. You're gonna shut the door. Uh, my directions say to do between one to two minutes, so I like to split the difference and do a minute thirty. Uh, but please follow whatever is on your package. It is the correct thing. So now that it's done, we're gonna take that out of the microwave. Please be careful, it will be hot. Ouch, it's hot right now. Okay, we're gonna do this really quickly. There we go, pass that over. I like to mix my oatmeal even more, um, just to make sure that it gets all the way through. Oh uh, yeah, that looks great. Uh, but it's still way too hot to eat, so. While we're waiting for the oatmeal to cool down, let's talk a little bit about connecting with friends over these next couple weeks and for the rest of winter break. Um, even though that you are virtual and already your time seeing your friends was very limited, whether they lived in another building than you or something about COVID restrictions, um, it's very important for you to still stay connected with them. Whether that is scheduling a lunch with a friend, you know, over a Zoom call or hosting a game night with your friends, um, taking that first step to just be like, hey, like I still wanna keep this friendship that we had, that we had made, or continuing friendships that you've already had. Both of those things will make you feel really good and still feel included and have a sense of community, which is really great when you are virtual and you don't have that ability to just see everybody that you want in person. So keeping that in mind and keeping those friendships and those relationships that you have made this past semester and with previous years, is something that will really help you get through finals because you'll have a support system and other people that will also be going through the same thing of studying for all these finals and everything like that. So friendships are good. And there we go. Here's our oatmeal. It looks great. Um, I could Actually, this looks fantastic. I can't wait to eat this. Awesome. Thank you again for watching the Kennedy and Esther Microwave Cooking Show. I hope you have a great stress last week and the best of luck on finals. Go Captains!